As long as I'm changing out my spindle, I thought I might shoot a quick video on how this is done. I gathered up everything I'm going to need here. You know, a little drill and tap. A uh, puller. It's just a harmonic puller is what I use. Uh, some other random tools. Alright. So, I had to get this out of the way first. And this mower is pretty old. So, I broke that. I'll have to find another way to tap that out and fix that when I'm done with this. Um, Alright, so we get the cover out of the way. And we're going to have to pull this. Uh, that's the keeper for the shear pin that goes on the pulley. And I've already got that loose, so next we're going to pop that bolt off. That's a three-quarter inch on this mower. So let's do that real quick. Alright, got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and squirt this with the magic juice. Makes it uh, a little easier to come off. Go ahead and spray the bolts underneath. Yeah, just get that shit everywhere. It's better for it. And one more back here. Sometimes those shear off when you change them. I've already changed the other two. And on the first one, all of these bolts down here sheared off. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, I, you notice I haven't pulled the tension off the belt yet. I like a little bit of tension on it while I do this. So we're gonna, we've already got three holes in the top of this pulley um, and I've got my drill bit and my tap and the bolts that I have on my harmonic puller are rather large and that's why I have a large tap. The only issue with using something so much, so much bigger than, than the hole that's already there is if you look down below the casting on the pulley housing will only allow your um, head of your bolt to go down maybe three sixteenths of an inch below below the top of the pulley because you're going to run into the top edge of this so this is an old one that i pulled out before They should have had a zerk fitting, grease fitting on that thing. It would make it a lot easier. And here's the new one that we're going to put in as soon as we get this other old one out of here. So, all right, I'm going to drill and tap these holes. So I drilled out all three holes and we're going to take this tap and if you've not used a tap before you run it in until it gets tight. Back it off an eighth of a turn then pull forward again then back it off then pull forward and keep doing that. You don't want to keep twisting on it and put it in a bind. Don't use an electric drill to run your tap. Just a little, little crescent wrench is all you're going to need. Run it in, back it off, run it in, back it off until you make it through the back side. So once you have all of the holes tapped, just go ahead and use the magic juice again and get all the shavings out of there. And we'll take the harmonic puller, set it in place. Have to back this up a little bit. Give me just a second. Once you have all the bolts snugged up. I just use this because the impact makes things so much easier. Oh yeah. Now's the time to pull the belt. Yeah. All right, belt's out of the way. And that's why I like the belt on there. It's a little harder with one hand. Let's see what we can do. And the pulley's off. There's the shear pin. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is pop these four bolts off. 
Then we'll have to raise the deck a little bit with a jack and pop it out, take the blade off, and slide the new one in. And once you have all the bolts off there, just use, uh, just give it a little tap. <laughs> yeah, if it's been in there for a while, you're probably going to have to beat it up. And that's what she looks like. We'll just take our impact. And... spindle and I wiped off some of the magic juice there. I'm gonna shove it up in there and get some bolts started. Bolts are torqued back down, put the shear pin back in there and I just took a little pair of pliers, well medium pliers, put it on there and just gave it a little squeeze till it popped back in place. You don't want to mess up the edges on it because that'll make it hard to get your pulley back on. Now, at this point, we're going to put the pulley back on, but do yourself a favor. Do not try to beat this pulley on with a hammer. Make sure it's lubricated well, and then just use the, the little bolt that came with it, that came off of there to hold it on, to tighten that back down. Um, if you've got an impact, it goes on there pretty easy. Tighten that back up, throw the belt on, pop the blade on, and then we'll be finished. Alright, so got the pulley back on, got the blade back on, belt's attached, and we are ready to mow. Hope you enjoyed the video or learned something. Uh, peace out.